Hi, boys and girls. Today's math is a review of the things we've been doing and practicing with numbers and if they're greater than or less than and adding on. So I want you to think about all the things we've been doing on the math worksheets this past week and what we were doing in class before we left school. And this is page 237 and on the back is 238. And we're go I am going to read the directions very carefully to you, but I'm not going to give you the answers. Your parents can check this for you to see if you did a good job or just hold on to it because I'm going to be checking at school. Um, and I may ask you to show it to me when we do our Zoom. But I want you to do a good job and listen carefully. One of the most important things, and I'm going to leave this up here, is to remember your numbers in order, zero to 10, because I'm gonna ask numbers that are greater than one number or less than one number. So let's do a quick review of that. So we have one through 10 in order. If I said, find the number five, what number is greater than five? Well, you would have to go up to the bigger numbers past five. Six is greater than five, but seven and eight and nine and 10 are all greater than five too, because greater means it gets bigger. If I say what numbers are less than five, four is less than five, but so is three and two and one and zero. They're all less than five because they are smaller than five. Um, if I said, what number is less than four? Less than four, but greater than two. So here's four. What number is less than four? So less than, we go this way, but greater than two. So here's two and it's got to be bigger than two. So less than four is three and greater than two is three. So that's the number in the middle. Let's practice that again. Let's do another one. Listen carefully. If I said, what number is less than seven? Okay, so I'm gonna find seven. Everything going this way is less than seven. But what number is greater than five? Less than seven, but greater than five. Less than goes this way, greater than this way. Here's five and seven. Five and seven, what's in the middle? Six. Less than seven, greater than five is the number six. Okay, so that's one of the questions I'm gonna ask you for a different number. Okay, are you ready to follow along? Here we go. Get your paper and pencil. All you need is this paper and your pencil. We're gonna go to number one where the star is. You're gonna see two numbers on your paper. This number and this number. I'm not even gonna tell you the numbers. I hope you know your numbers. You gotta keep practicing them. Say them to yourself. So the first one, number one, the directions say, draw a circle around the number that is greater than seven. So here are your two numbers, right here. Which number is greater than seven? Go ahead, circle the number that is greater than seven. Okay, let's go on to number two. Number two, you're gonna see some yellow and red counters. The directions are to count all the counters and write how many. So count all of them all together and write how many counters there are. 
Take your time, go ahead and do that. Count how many and write the number on the lines very neatly, very neatly on the lines. Okay. Remember, if I go too fast for anything, for anyone, just hit pause, finish writing, and then hit play again so you can go back and follow along with me. Number three, it's just a set of lines, a blank set of lines for number three. Number three, they want you to write the number that means none. Write the number that means none or nothing. What number means nothing? Go ahead and write it on the lines. What number means nothing? Okay, number four, you're gonna see some unifix cubes on number four. And number four has two groups. See how they're separated? We've got two red ones here and three yellow ones here. They want you to circle the group of unifix cubes that has less. Circle the group of unifix cubes that have less. So if the red ones are less than the yellow, circle them. If the yellow ones are less than the red ones, circle them. Circle the one color that is less than the other color. After you circle, you're gonna write the number of how many are in the group you circled. So if you circle the red ones, you're gonna write two. If you circle the yellow ones, you're gonna write three. You were to circle the group that had less. And then write the number for that group with less. Okay. Number five, turn over on the back. You're gonna see two numbers again. Again, I'm not gonna tell you the numbers. So, this we've done lots of times before. You're gonna do something to both numbers. I want you to circle the number that is greater than the other number. So you say these two numbers. Circle the one that is greater, put an X on the one that is less than. Circle the number that is greater, put an X on the number that is less than. I'm gonna say it one more time. Circle the number that is greater, put an X on the number that is less than the other number. Okay, number six. Number six is just a blank line right here. And this is where you're gonna have to write a number that comes between two other numbers. Are you ready? So number six has the coffee cup right in the middle of your paper. That's where you're gonna write this. Make sure you see the number six and all in a coffee cup. That's where you're gonna write this number. You ready for the directions? Okay, you can look up here to help. Here we go. Write the number, listen carefully, write the number that is greater than three, but less than five. Write the number that is greater than three, and less than five. There's only one number you can write. It has to be greater than three, but it also has to be less than five. Greater than three, less than five. Using the number line up here. Right here, greater than three less than five. Okay, number seven. You're gonna do two things, number seven, right here where the bell is. Nope, sorry, Christmas tree. 
number seven, there's a blank space up here and then some lines at the bottom. In the blank space, you're going to draw some counters and you're going to write a number. I'm going to tell you how many, just a minute. On number seven, you're going to draw five counters in a row, straight across. Draw five counters, round circles, and then write the number five, right here. Draw five counters in a row and write the number five. When I say counters, I just mean round circles, just like that. Draw five, don't even color them in, just draw five circles in a straight line in a row and write the number five. Okay, number eight. Number eight, I'm going to add a little something extra. And when I finish talking, I'm going to turn off the video and you're going to finish it. Number eight, let me just tell you the directions. Now I'm going to tell you what I want you to do first. What I want you to do first while you're listening to the directions is I want you to write your numbers 1 to 10 up on the top. Real little, as small as you can. Not on the lines. Just write an extra row so you have a number line like mine. Then you are going to fill in the missing numbers in this row of numbers. So you need to write the two numbers that come before 5 and then write the numbers that come between five and nine. If you can do that without writing the numbers on top, you don't have to write one through 10, but I'd like to see them. You can practice writing your numbers, but you need to fill in the missing numbers on the bottom. So two numbers that come before five and then one, two, three numbers that come after five, and nine is the last number. So you're gonna put these numbers in order, but you have to figure out what you're starting with. You gotta count backwards from five, okay? Go ahead and finish this paper. Mom or dad or someone at home can check over it for you but I will be looking at it when I see you in January, or I might ask you to um, show it to me on our Zoom call. I hope you're writing nice, neat numbers. Thank you for doing this with me. Bye.